Okay, a few years ago, humanoid robots were soaring by, but today they're walking, working, and racing to reshape entire industries. But why humanoid? Because our world is built for human hands, human movements, and now AI powered robots are stepping in, not just to assist, but to take on real jobs. This is a global arms race. The US and China are pouring billions into humanoid robotics, each fighting to dominate the future of labor. Who wins could redefine economies, industries, and maybe even geopolitics. But let's be real where are we actually at? Are these robots truly ready for workforce or are we just seeing polished demo videos? Who is leading the charge and how soon could this tech change everything? And here's the big one. If humanoid robots are the next industrial revolution, how do you position yourself? That's what we are breaking down today. The tag, the players, the money, and what it all means for the future. So first thing first, what flipped the switch? Why is this humanoid robot revolution kicking into high gear now? It feels like a few crucial ingredients finally came together at the right time. First, AI got way smarter. The same AI behind chatbots and self-driving cars is now giving robots the ability to see, understand, and react to messy, unpredictable real world. Second, the hardware got way better and cheaper. Think sensors that let robots feel and see and tiny powerful motors like actuators that act like muscles, they are more capable and cost less than ever before. And third, big money showed up. Investors see huge potential markets, think manufacturing, logistics, maybe even healthcare down the line, plus anxieties about labor shortages, and they are pouring billions into these companies. So where are they being put to work first? Well, usually it's jobs humans might not want to do. The classic, you know, 3Ds, dull, dirty, and dangerous. Think sorting packages for hours on end, moving heavy parts on an assembly line, maybe eventually inspecting dangerous infrastructure. Companies are running pilot programs right now to figure out, can these robots do these jobs reliably, safely, efficiently, alongside human workers? Okay, so who are the key players actually building these things? Let's meet the main contenders now. First up, the one you've almost certainly seen is Boston Dynamics. They have basically invented the viral robot video, but they just made a massive shift. Remember the super athletic hydraulic atlas? Well, it's gone, replaced by an all-electric version. Why? Well, because hydraulics are powerful but messy, noisy, power-hungry, not ideal for a factory floor. Electric instead is cleaner, quieter, more controllable, built for real work. And check this out. They're designing it for superhuman movement, not just walking like us, but twisting and turning in ways human joints can't all for maximum efficiency. Now, you can't buy Boston Dynamics stock directly, but Korean auto giant Hyundai owns about 80%, so investing in Hyundai or HYMTF gives you a slice, although not directly. Next day is Figure AI. They came out swinging, raising a massive 675 million in 2024 from tech giants like Microsoft, Nvidia, OpenAI, even Jeff Bezos. That's some serious validation. Their focus seems laser sharp, which is to get robots doing useful work in commercial settings fast. They are already running a pilot with BMW in a car factory. And that open AI partnership is huge. Imagine robots that can understand complex instructions, learn tasks more intuitively, maybe even problem solve on the fly, powered by cutting edge AI models. That could be a game changer, but for now, Figure is private, so no direct stock market play for most folks. Then we have Agility Robotics and the robot Digit. You recognize Digit by its distinctive legs designed for stability and efficiency on flat surfaces and even stairs. They have zero in on logistics, partnering with giants like Amazon to test Digit moving bins and packages around warehouses. Tackling the sheer scale and repetitive nature of warehouse work is their big bet. 
also private, also heavily backed by VC. And rounding out Team USA, there's of course Tesla's Optimus. I mean, you really can't ignore Elon Musk's ambition here. He believes Optimus could ultimately be bigger than Tesla's entire car business. Obviously bold claim, but where is this coming from? Well, first off, Tesla is leveraging its AI expertise from full self-driving or FSD. AI can navigate roads, Elon Musk believes it can also navigate and interact with the physical world. Second of all, Tesla knows mass production. If and is a big if, they can scale Optimus and hit the target price of 20,000, it could disrupt the entire market. They are aiming for limited production as early as 2025. And if you're wondering how to invest, Tesla is public, ticker simple TSLA of course, but this race isn't just happening in the US. Let's now talk about China. China is moving with incredible speed and scale in robotics. Fueled by massive investment, a strong manufacturing base and clear government backing for AI and automation as strategic priorities, some argue they might already be pulling ahead in certain aspects. Well, just look at the patent data. Between 2020 and early 2025, Chinese companies filed over 5,600 patents mentioning humanoid. The US, on the other hand, is under 1,500. That signals intense R&D focus. Leading the charge in terms of public awareness right now is probably Unitree Robotics. These guys burst onto the scene with the G1 robot. It's surprisingly agile. Yes, it can do that side flip, but the real shocker is the price. They launch it starting around 16,000 US dollars. That massively undercuts most Western cost projections and puts immense pressure on competitors. And remember, but Unitree isn't new. They have popular dot-like robots too. They got huge publicity showcasing the robots dancing during the massive Lunar New Year TV gala in 2024. Their price point targets accessibility and potentially much faster adoption. And it's not just Unitree. This is an ecosystem play in China. Tech giants like Xiaomi are showing off prototypes. Major EV makers like BYD, Cherry, Xiaopan are all investing in humanoid robots likely seeing it as a natural extension of their automation efforts in car manufacturing. This broad industrial push combined with supply chain advantages and government support makes China an incredibly powerful contender. And Unitree isn't the only one pushing the price barrier down. Another Chinese company, Engine AI, just introduced its PM01 humanoid robot. And here's the wild part, it could cost as little as 12 thousand dollars. I mean, that's even cheaper than Unitree's G1 and way below what Tesla's Optimus is expected to cost. And lower price doesn't mean lower performance. The PM01 is reportedly powered by Huawei's advanced Pengu AI model designed for natural movement and high efficiency. It also runs on Nvidia's Jetson Orin hardware, making it a serious contender in the space. If they can actually deliver a capable AI powered robot at that price, it could be a game changer, pushing humanoid robots into homes and workplaces much faster. This just reinforces how aggressive China's robotics industry is when it comes to both speed and affordability. This progress is why forecasts are getting so bullish. Remember Goldman Sachs jumping from a 6 billion to a 38 billion market projection by 2035, or the predictions that 10,000 units to 20,000 units could ship this year. So the next question is, how can we get involved if we want to invest in this robotic trend? But let me be loud and clear, this is not financial advice. This space is super new, super volatile, assume you could lose anything you invest, so please do your own research. All right, with that out of the way, here's how people are thinking about investing in robots. First and the easiest is through tech giants. Companies like Tesla, Google, and Amazon are pushing robotics and AI. Less direct exposure, but lower risk since they do more than just robots. Number two is through indirect play, like buying Hyundai for a piece of Boston 
Captain Dynamics, what you're doing here is betting on the parent company benefiting from its robotics arm. The third approach is something called the picks and shuffles, investing in the suppliers like the companies making the essential components. Nvidia for the AI brains and simulation tools is like the prime example. Others might make specialized sensors or actuators like harmonic drive systems, less betting on one winner, more on the overall trend needing these parts. The next approach is to buy ETF that focus on robotics or AI like Robo or BOTZ. This is because an ETF holds a bunch of related stocks, giving you diversification within the sector, but it might also include many non-human or robotics companies too. Last approach is what I call the high risk and high reward startup approach. Companies like Figure AI and Agility Robotics are private, so investing usually require VC access, huge upside but very high risk. So basically, do your own research, adjust your investment based on your risk appetite because the last thing you want is buying an other dot-com bubble, right? So before jumping in, ask yourself, does it actually save money? If a robot costs more than the value it creates, then that's a problem. Is the price right for the job? A simple, cheaper robot might be more practical than an expensive humanoid. Can a team handle both tech and business? Building robots is hard, but selling them profitably is even harder. Is the business model solid? Are they just selling hardware or do they have recurring revenue? So the bottom line is to watch the real deployments, not just hype. Track how costs drop and see which companies scale and who actually turns this tech into a sustainable business. Okay everyone, thanks for diving deep with me today. This channel is making a lot more AI analysis content. If you want faster updates from me about my perspective and market views, the best way to follow me is on Twitter since I don't always have the time to make long videos like this. All links to my socials can be found in the description box below. In the meanwhile, if you're curious to find out why I'm worried about the AI aging crypto trend, check out this video right here.